ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد my dear respected brothers and sisters in islam we are only just over 3 weeks away from the month of ramadan first and foremost we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he dhul jalal al ikram allows us to witness the blessed month of ramadan and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq and ability that when we enter into the month of ramadan we try our best to make the most of this blessed month the month of ramadan but now it is a time for us all to prepare ourselves for that blessed month so in today's khutbah i would like to share with you some practical piece of advice that we need to adopt in order to prepare ourselves for the month of ramadan so first and foremost my dear brothers and sisters in islam qada siyam ramadan the very first thing that we need to concentrate on is that if you have missed any fast last ramadan due to your travel due to illness sickness or any legitimate reason then and after the month of ramadan last year you did not get chance to make up those missed fast now it is a time to make them up before we enter into the month of ramadan don't delay it until the month of ramadan starts and then you start panicking and then you start asking question what to do Our mother Aisha radiyallahu ta'ala anha says that during the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we would end up delaying the missed fast of the previous Ramadan until this month the month of Sha'ban and we would make up those missed fasts within the month of Sha'ban before we enter into the month of Ramadan so those brothers and sisters who missed any fast last Ramadan make sure you make them up within this month before we enter into the month of ramadan and then in addition to those missed fast it is also the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to get into the habit of observing voluntary fast within this month the month of shaaban aisha radiyallahu ta'ala anha says lam yakun an nabiy sallallahu alaihi wasallam yasum shahran akthar min shaaban كان يصوم شعبان الا قليلا وكان يصوم شعبان كله ذا ذا بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم نيفر ابزرفد ذا فاستينج مور فريكوينتلي ذان هي ديد ان ذا مانث اوف شعبان اند ذن شي سيز ذا بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم وود فاست اولموست ذا هول مانث اوف شعبان هي وود ميست اونلي فيو دايز اند سام تايم هي وود fast the whole month of shaaban in order to get ready for the month of ramadan the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had the sunnah to observing the fast every monday and thursday and three wide days of every lunar month but in the month of shaaban the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would increase his fasting within this month so this is what we need to do but at the same time we need to bear in mind two things the first one is that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has advised us as a umma as his followers that those who do not have the habit and the practice 
of observing the voluntary fast throughout the year, then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has encouraged us to stop fasting from the mid of Sha'ban until Ramadan so that we don't feel any kind of weakness within our body and then we end up losing the reward of the obligatory fast within the month of Ramadan. But if you regularly fast every Monday and Thursday, then there is no harm for you to continue all the way up to the month, up to the beginning and the start of the month of Ramadan. And another thing that we need to bear in mind with regards to the fasting within this month is the fasting of the 15th of Sha'ban. The 15th day of the month of Sha'ban. As the 15th night of Sha'ban is a night that vast majority of the Muslims believe that that is the blessed night, which is known as Shabbara'at, or the night of freedom when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala frees his slaves from the fire of hell. And the, uh, the fact is that majority of the ahadith that talk about the virtues of the 15th night of the month of Sha'ban, most of those ahadiths are weak, except few. And one of them is the hadith in which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that on the 15th night of the month of Sha'ban, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala forgives all of his slaves, all the believers, except he subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all of his slaves except two types of people. The first one is the one who commits shirk with Allah dhul jalal ikram. Those who associate partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah does not forgive them that night. Likewise, those who have any kind of hatred and malice in their hearts against other Muslims, their relatives or non-relatives, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive them in that night. So that is the virtue of that night. But does it mean that we need to stay that night awake and to spend the whole night in worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then to observe the fast next day and then try to visit the graveyard as well and to do all these things? No, we don't find any evidence from the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But what we learn from this hadith is that we need to stay away from committing shirk and associating partners with Allah Dhul Jalal Ikram. And second, which is very, very important, is that we need to cleanse our heart. We need to, we need to purify our head from any kind of malice. If you have a problem with your siblings, your parents, your relatives, your friends, your colleagues, and you have fallen apart and you have a problem, then this is the time to make up within the month of Sha'ban, before, ideally before the 15th night of the month of Sha'ban, so that you don't fall under the category of those people who are not forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that night. But observing the fast on the 15th day of Sha'ban and singling that day out, it is not from the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Likewise, my dear brothers, in sister Islam, in order for us to prepare ourselves for the month of Ramadan, we need to bear in mind that the month of Ramadan is the month of worship. It is not the month of fun. It is not the month of wasting time. It is not the month when you go on streets and you end up wasting your time in doing shopping during the day or even after Taraweeh at night. No. Rather, this is the month of worshipping Allah Dhul Jalal Ikram. For that, first and foremost, we need to learn, we need to, as a Muslim, it is our core responsibility that we are fully aware of how to worship Allah Dhul Jalal Ikram, starting from the Salah. We need to make sure that we offer the Salah according to the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it is again a time for us to get our praise rectified. All of us, without an exception, we may have some kind of deficiencies, some issues and some mistakes, common mistakes that we don't even realize in our salah. It is a time to get it rectified. Alhamdulillah, for this purpose, we held a prayer workshop last weekend and we have arranged another course for you, all the brothers and sisters, at the first weekend of the month of March, inshallah. 
and that is known as bow down for both brothers and sisters inshallah for sisters will have female teachers and for brothers male teacher inshallah and will take place here in the masjid during the day spending whole day saturday and sunday to learn about the salah and i i will encourage every one of you to please register for that course and attend and benefit so that you are fully mentally ready to enter into the month of Ramadan so that you can make the most of that blessed month. Likewise, the month of Ramadan is a month of fasting. It is our core duty and obligation to learn the rulings of fasting before we enter into the month of Ramadan. We need to know what breaks the fast, what does not break the fast, what is permissible, what is not permissible while fasting, what we can do and what we cannot do. We need to learn all that. It is our core duty in order to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So again for that we have arranged another online course that is going to take place next weekend inshallah. So I will encourage. So Alhamdulillah Masjid has arranged a number of courses for you to prepare yourself and so that you can have best experience of the month of Ramadan. Another thing that we need to do in order for us to prepare ourselves for the month of Ramadan is to get into the habit of giving in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, giving in charity. Again, we know the month of Ramadan is the month of charity, but don't wait until you enter into the month of Ramadan and then you start planning and particularly for those who want to pay their zakah. The ruling with regards to the zakah is if your zakah is due before the month of Ramadan, you can't delay it until the month of Ramadan. You have to pay it immediately. But if your zakat is due after the month of Ramadan, then it is permissible for you to give in advance in the month of Ramadan. So if you decide to give within the month of Ramadan, then again, you need to know the rulings. You need to know the ruling of zakat. How much of zakat you need to pay and what is the nisab and what are the condition of the zakat. The people who, will, who are entitled to zakat, you need to know all of that. For that again, we have arranged another course for you inshallah. So I encourage every one of you to please take part in that course and benefit. The month of Ramadan is the month of dua as well. The month of dua. Again, in order for us to make dua to Allah Dhul Jalal Ikram and to ensure that our duas are answered by Allah Dhul Jalal Ikram, we need to first and foremost know and understand the etiquettes of dua and to learn the duas that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has taught us, the dua that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has encouraged us to recite. For this purpose, again, we have arrange another course dua memorization course that is going to start for the brothers tomorrow inshallah for the duration of six weeks and another separate course that will take place during the week for sisters inshallah again take benefit from this course and so the purpose is that we all get ready for the month of ramadan and lastly my dear brother and sister in islam the month of ramadan is the month of the night prayer Qiyamul Layl. Alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, most of us, or probably all of us, we try our best to offer Salat al tarawi in congregation in the Masajid. But it would be good if we can get into the habit of offering some night prayer now within the month of Sha'ban so that we can taste the sweetness of Qiyamul Layl. For that, you can obviously nowadays alhamdulillah the nights are a bit long so you can make some efforts to wake up a bit early before salatul fajr and offer even if it was only two rak'at and if you think that is going to be difficult for you then there's no harm in offering two extra nawafil as part of of night prayer after you have completed your salatul isha before going to sleep but at least have some portion of the night prayer and get into the habit of offering the night prayer, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all tawfiq and ability to prepare ourselves for the month of Ramadan so that we can make the most of that blessed month by the permission of Allah dhul jalal ikram, innahu sami'un qareeb. Inna alhamdulillahi na'hamaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'afiruhu. 
ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد مدير بدل نسيس الإسلام The month of Ramadan is the month of Quran If you have distanced yourself from the book of Allah سبحانه وتعالى and you do not have a routine, daily routine of reciting the Quran, now it is the time to get into the habit of reciting Quran on a daily basis. So that when the month of Ramadan, you already have the Quran as part of your daily routine so that you can expand on it and then you can increase your portion of the recitation of the Quran on a daily basis. Do not delay it. So finally and most importantly, we need to plan everything according to our routine and our, we need to make a solid plan and start working on it now rather than delaying it until the first of Ramadan and then what happened what we all know and we have experienced in the past that the month of Ramadan starts for first few days you go you are so ambitious and you you want to do this 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 and then within few days within first few uh, days and the, oh, probably a week of, of the month of Ramadan, then you start dropping, you know, the recitation of the Quran, your worship, your dua, your, because you did not get into the habit of having that solid routine. So change your, 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 your daily routine and then ultimately ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He dhul jalal ikram gives you tawfiq and ability to make the most of the blessed month of Ramadan. The Aslaf, our Salaf Salihin, they used to look forward to the month of Ramadan and they used to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allahumma ballighna shahra Ramadan. Oh Allah, allow us to reach the month of Ramadan. We all ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives us our shortcomings, our mistakes and may Allah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq and ability to rectify our errors and our mistakes and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to make the most of the month of Ramadan bi ithnillahil kareem. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our sins. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala ali muhammadin وبارك وسلم وصلي عليه ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلي اللهم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين